good morning ladies and gentlemen it's brave cal we're uh I'm, I'm feeling indecisive about what to play next so i'm just kind of going down and feeling starting games that feel right feel like something i want to play right now and for some reason fallout just was jumping out of me so we're gonna give fallout 4 a shot get it started it's something that's been on my list for a while and I'd like to play through it, uh, so yeah, we're gonna give it a go. I have no idea how much side stuff I'm gonna end up doing, how much, uh, build- I got really just- I get really distracted in this game with building things and, uh, side quests and stuff. I mean, you've, if you've seen my other Fallout runs, this is way worse because of the hoarding and the town building. So, I was a little hesitant about it because of that, but I feel like... That could be okay. <laughs> Maybe it's the, uh, you know, extensive, ridiculous amount of time that ended up having to go into uh, Pathfinder. But yeah, I'm thinking let's uh, let's give this a go. We'll start off with the, uh, the awesome prologue that always happens with uh, Fallout games. Hey, it is like Pathfinder, loading simulator. I will say that's one of the other things I'm worried about with this game, is the uh, performance. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> if it ends up lagging a lot, then I may not, uh, may not keep going on it. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. But instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. So we get this, uh, Intro. War uh, never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hun. This is a good background. Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Okay. Pick 
like what we want to look like. I'm kind of... Kind of feeling the the old man kind of look, middle aged look. Let's do. Hey, it's my turn, big guy. I do love this uh, character creation method. Just slide in here. Okay. Let's do like a little, uh, what's different about you? Oh, we have to push space to apply it. I don't want to spend too much time on this. I just wanted to do a little something here. Go just a little, just that little bit there. Uh, as so. handsome as the day we met. I think we're good there. I'm actually pretty impressed with just the base one for what I was thinking, so I think we'll just leave it alone pretty much in there. Check body real quick. I'm thinking we're going to go... Yeah. I'm gonna go for about there. A little bit of a. like a, a dad bod thing kind of going on. Hun. I'm hurrying up. Don't worry. Okay, I've got it. some here. Thanks, idyllic uh, suburbia of the 1950s, except in the future. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. It's my favorite. Everyone's going to love the speech. Oh, sounds like someone. 
<laughs> you know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. Hey, hon. Well, look at you. How'd a girl like me ever get so lucky, huh? Good old USA. I'm so proud of her. Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Good morning. Voltec calling. Vault Tech? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, Vault Tech is the foremost builder of state of the art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Okay. I really should have thought this part through. Um, no, we'll go for a recent character I played who has. Or, I'm not playing anymore. That's everything. I'm just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. So. Hey. It's peace of mind. The stats in this like game a paperwork, right? are a sure lot less no important. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Mr. Ezra, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, Mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? So yeah, as I was saying, these stats are less important because you can increase them as you followed go, and there's no max level. Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. Um, We're, uh, trying to so I went with the stuff that I want right off the bat, that I want real easy access to. 
Oh no. Uh, we do have coming in. That's um confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We we need to get to the vault now. I've got John. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. So, I did find it really interesting that this game chose this approach. Um, it raises some logistical things as the game goes on, but I do like the overall way that they... Outside We're the gate. Everything we can. Now keep moving. Step away. In the center. Almost there. We're going to be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stair. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, no, We'd all be. don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these Vault stairs and through the door there. All new residents, this way, please. please proceed this in way. an orderly fashion. Welcome home. Male. This way, please. This way, just this it. way. Female and you step over to the table. Take a seat. Hi. Welcome. Pick up a suit right over there. Just step over to the table. You'll need your seats uh, before we can take right Thanks. Over. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. Here you are. Head down the hall there. See? Hey there. Just this way. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we yeah. had. My mother and father down in D.C. How what long do you think we'll be down here? I know this place. Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical yeah, items we have to get them first so they go in. to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Okay. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the hall. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four.
Enter, cry enter cryogenic hibernation. We're interrupted briefly. And then we come out. So especially early on, this one I ha find the most problematic. Um, come on, there has to be a release. Come on, come on, come on. Oh God! I'll find who did this, and I'll get Sean back. I promise. Why would Vault do this? So yeah, uh, right off the bat, the biggest, you know, in most of the Fallout games, so three, you're looking for your dad, which is, you know, there's a bit, of, or there's definitely some time, you know, there's definitely an element to it where you're, you know, in a hurry. But, you know, he can take care of himself to an extent, so it's less of a problem. Although, New Vegas, it's almost the exact opposite problem where you have very, very little motivation. This one's the most extreme where you are blatantly you, you are a parent looking for a child and it is very much becomes hard to justify side quests, I guess, would be a good way to put it. If you're really investing in the story. Giant... roaches? What the hell? Such as. Stopping to grab a toaster.
Where is everyone? Is this all that's left? Test long-term effects of uh, suspended animation on unaware human subjects. later Anyone get out? Everyone's dead. Get your pet boy. It does make you grab the pit boy before you uh, proceed here. Emma. 
think we're good. Grognak the Barbarian. So, one of the big things that you may have noticed if you've played other Fallout games, but not this one, is that there are no skills. Um, you don't have to tag skills and such. You just have your stats, and uh, while there are still things like the magazines and such, uh, and there are still perks... The skills kind of got folded into them as more of a passive thing. Uh, this game, compared to the other Fall games, is also a lot more of a pick up everything that is not nailed down, and honestly, probably the things that are nailed down. Um, there's a lot you just kind of have to... There's actually uses for a lot of the junk that you didn't have a lot of uses for in the other games. Like, in the other games, you could pick everything up. In this game, there's a reason to pick everything. Running in this burns AP. We're going to be taking some perks uh, fairly early on that we're, will give us uh, some stuff pretty early on that'll give us a uh, additional AP. I very particularly chose all of my stats to get the skills that I'm going to want in the first few levels. Um, if I only had a bobby pin. That's going to be the first one. <laughs> Lock picking. Let's go ahead and finish this quest so we've got our just to get the extra XP and enable some of the other stuff. As I live and breathe. Oh, it's it's really you. Cosworth. What happened to the world? Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Beck. Where is your better half, by the by? They... They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped. 
But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. Hmm? You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you? A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> I hate Codsworth. Like so, so, so much. <laughs> this entire scene just makes me... Codsworth, you're acting... a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find this holotape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, a surprise. But then... Everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. She, she's dead. We, we literally just said that. There's nothing left here. It's all gone. Well, if you wish to venture to parts unknown, I won't stop you. I shall guard the neighborhood in your absence. Hey, Codsworth. Mr. Es leaving? So soon? Was it something I said? Yes. Keeping watch, sir. Do you want me to initiate my search protocol? Yes. Right. Apparently, we don't have a choice. Round two, serve, sir. Picking up hostile light signs. Got a permanent boost to our unarmed attack. Okay, we have to go this way. Mr. Ezra, your family isn't here either. They're really gone, aren't they? Yes. We already established this. You also said you were going to stop feeling sorry for yourself, you piece of metal. I should probably stop jumping on things. Out of bobby pins. Really, just need to get this last, or to actually get a 
level up here. Codsworth. This is but this is a young Sean. The arch here. Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, sir? Plenty of people there. Last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. Good luck, sir. You'll find young Sean. I know you will. I shall remain here and secure the home. So we'll do a little more thorough cleanup later here. Um, I'm trying to remember which house the book is in. Pack. Is that it? There we go. Uh, we're going to improve. Uh, I think we're doing agility first. Your special book is a free bump to any one stat. So we're gonna get that, or so we got that and bumped uh, agility. We need to get eventually up to eight. We're gonna get one more free dot. We're just gonna head out until we get a chance to do it more because we don't actually have a way to oh anything else in here yourself you lose your owner buddy okay then let's stick together
Oh, good to know it's got a uh, smooth transitions. I forgot about that. I just don't have bobby pins. Hey, a bobby pin. Hey, bobby pins in general. There we go. Okay, let's do our... Level up. Okay, so this is the level up screen for all of our perks and stuff. Uh, we can take anything that we have the stats to support. So, we've got four intelligence, we can go down to hacking. Let's get into computers. We have four perception that'll let us do lock picking. We have uh, six charisma to let us do local leader. Uh, we have five uh, endurance for Aqua Boy specifically. Uh, armor let us mod armor as we go. Action Boy is going to be really good later. Uh, fortune Finder. Uh, luck is really the least important to me in this particular game. I'll do Vans later. Cap Collector is really good. 
Um, there's a few others, but... Uh, and then uh, there's a few others here that we're going to get. Oh, I didn't get Scrapper yet. I don't have enough for Scrapper yet, brother. That actually should have been my my one I put in there, but that's okay. Again, the advantage of this over most uh, of the Fallout games is we can actually... Let's see, A to turn the screwdriver. Mouse to adjust. That's it. Concord is going to have some stuff happen right away. So I think this is going to be as good a time as any to wrap up. So hopefully you're enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one.